What's going on guys? You're with Hardy Tech. Welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green, the A Luck Run in the last episode. I don't actually don't remember what we did. Bad memory. Today, you may notice we're going to uh, the boat thing. That's because um, I want to point out right now, this video and probably the next video are going to be shorter videos. And I will give you an explanation why in a second. But today we're going to be going taking on some of the legendary birds. We're going to be taking on at least Moltres. I assume we will be taking on more than just Moltres. We'll probably be going after Zapdos as well. Maybe Articuno depending on the time. So why do we have to have shorter videos? We might as well just get that right out of the way before Hardy forgets. Because big surprise, Hardy will forget. Um... So, tomorrow, which is uh, the 27th of June, for those of you who don't know, which might, I think this like technically today, this is posted or, either way, on Thursday, myself and Rusty are going on a bit of a road trip to go meet, to go, not go meet, but I'm going to be meeting, to go visit Rusty's girlfriend, who lives uh, only like 450 miles away from us, so it's only like an eight hour drive, and yeah, um, <laughs> So, I have to do a little bit of bulk recording because I I think technically I can record down there and I might get to that later, but I want to at least have video for today and I want to have a video for tomorrow and um, since I'm not good, I can't do a long recording session, you know. Uh, a few days ago I was talking to Unlawful Exile and he's telling me that they like record a week's worth of videos in one day and to me it's just like, how? How is that possible? How could you possibly do that? I, I mean, I can I can maybe do like two videos at the most before I'm just like completely burnt out and I just don't want to do anything else at all. And yet he he can just sit here and record like 10 videos in a row for his channel, for Miss Exiles channel, and for their Pair of Exiles channel. Just how? How is that even possible? It just doesn't make sense that anybody could do that. So I decided if I'm going to be doing some bulk recording, I'm going to just be doing some shorter videos, you know, 15 to, I just, they're not going to be like 10 minute videos. Don't worry. They'll probably be like 15 to 20 minutes instead of normal, like 20 to 30 minutes. Well, more of like 20 to, I think the average for this series has been around 25 minutes. So it probably won't be that long. Of course, on record, every time I've ever said a video isn't going to be that long, it's turned out to be a long video. Like, I remember in Spirit Gold, when I was taking on, I think it's the name's Price, I don't know, the Ice Dude, the Gym Leader, I'm like, oh, this is going to be a shorter video, and it ended up being like literally 20 minutes of me facing a Dugong, so that was nice. But I, I'm i pretty sure, I can't imagine it's going to take us that long to face Moltres and, what's his name, uh, Zapdos, assuming we take on Zapdos, like I said, I don't know how long it's going to take the Moltres. And then, uh, after that, after we take on the Legendary Birds, i not 100% sure what we'll be doing. I don't know if I want to take on Giovanni yet, because this series has been going on relatively fast, to say the least. So, I'm, I'm kind of trying to slow it down a little bit, because I'm pretty sure, like, we've had a gym battle in the past three episodes. We've had at least, like, one gym battle. So, um, I'm just trying to, like maybe not make this go as extremely fast so yeah, I, I think you guys get what I'm trying to say and I don't need to keep repeating myself so we're just gonna do some side stuff in the meantime we will be taking on Giovanni and I know after we take on Giovanni before we can take on the 084 we will have to to the rest of the Sevi Island so that will definitely take a few episodes because it's like four more islands there's so much more land and so much more Pokemon oh by the way I did not forget to hatch my Whatever it is, I kind of last episode. I caught a Pokemon, and I didn't hatch it then. I will hatch it after I take on Moltres. Probably, I will most likely forget. So, yay. And now, if you don't know, on one island here, you can go in this Ember Spa, and there are actually two things to note here. One is that if you step in this water, it'll automatically heal your Pokemon. And two is that right up here is a guy who gives you Rock Smash. And I, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm actually starting to think you actually need to teach Rock Smash to somebody to get to Moltres. And if that's the case, I'm going to be super sad face because I, f I really, really despise Rock Smash. It's such a pathetic move. Consider this fact. You don't get this HM until almost the end of the game. And th by this point, you already have Fly, Surf, and Strength, three of the most powerful HMs in Pokemon. And then they're like, oh, hey, here's Rock Smash. It does 20 damage. Yay. It's like, what? Why? Why, why would they do that to you? Give you such a useless move to end the game with. I, 
it's just extremely rude Pokemon I don't think anybody appreciates what you're doing here and we're gonna have to ask and maybe you stop with all the with all the little dude, yeah you know what I'm talking about game freak oh god you're gonna poison me aren't you you're gonna poison me and and I'm not gonna like it I don't want to be poisoned don't you do it I, I knew it I knew it I knew it I knew it I called it I was sitting there, I'm like, oh, he's gonna poison me. But this teacher's like, nah, bro, I won't poison you, we cool. So I'm like, okay, maybe he's a cool dude, maybe he won't poison me, maybe I can trust him. Yeah, no. No, you can't trust a Cedra. Those things are always having smoke coming out of their mouths, who knows? But they're freaking. Cedras are druggies, okay? That's just the way it is, there's no hiding it. They, you could always see them huffing and puffing that smoke, who knows? what they got going on in their system I mean just touching them alone puts poison into your system so that should say a little something about Cedras okay it's been revealed here I don't think anyone else has ever reported this Cedras are actually huge drug addicts they're like the Hypno's estranged cousin okay Hypno's and Cedras and Drowsies oh I think this guy teaches you explosion so yeah we're totally not gonna teach that to anybody um, do I not have... Uh, what? 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 No! Uh, ah! Okay, you know what? Time to get an HM slave. Yay! Okay, so for a short period, Absol will be returning to the team to resume his position as HM whore. And Minion, I said it from the very beginning, was going to be our beautiful... And we're going to put... We're just, we'll put Wolken in a box for now. Sorry, buddy. Wolken, um... Or, Minion is wonderful Pokemon that can all the HMs that we need to survive this game pretty much that we don't want to teach our normal people like well strength is actually a good move so I shouldn't hate on it but uh, he can learn flash he can learn rock smash he can learn cut he's just kind of like the biggest freaking little HM slave whore thing in existence and I don't know minion unlawful for those of you who don't know uh, minion where that nickname came from I did not have abso planned when I to be an HM slave when I got him so the name minion it wasn't because I planned on him being like my middle little minion and doing all my dirty work I want to point that out and oh before I forget actually let's hatch the egg because I know I will forget so minion um which what was it a bell sprout level 31 bell sprout let's go this one and okay minion enjoy I hope you enjoyed your like quick stay in the box but you're leaving now so let's hatch this egg while I'm doing it um so, what does Minion come from? Well, for those of you who don't know, Minion is named after Unlawful Exile, who is like the second time I mentioned him in this video alone. And a while back on Twitter, he is, uh, he does Let's Plays with, I believe it's just his fiance? I don't know what the relationship is there. They're not brothers and sisters, I know that much, but, uh, with a YouTuber named Mrs. Exile. And at one point, they were like, we ended up getting in a joke how she was going to leave him for me and he was going to become our minion so <laughs> that is where the nickname minion comes from it is named after unlawful exile and for one day in my pokemon mystery dungeon let's play oh yay it's another heracross yeah Fa yay that's number three I think that's our third one, so we're just going to nickname him V3. Because <laughs> there's never enough Heracrosses, just for the heck of it. Let's make sure he's legal, and yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to rare candy him up, then we'll be back on Mount Ember, so yay. Okay, so of course, me being an absolute moron, I accidentally ran into this trainer. So yeah, now we're going to have to take her on. I was just going to just like, hey, look, we're running way back on Mount Ember. But no, this little freaking jogging little pixel pooper freaking fan with their stupid little freaking Mickey wants to battle me. You want to battle me? You want to see what happens when you battle me? I'll show you what happens when you battle me. Oh, okay. Okay, you live. That's what obviously happens when you battle me. And I can catch Pokemon in Mount Ember. Um, I don't remember if the little cave thing like that you go inside is a separate area. If like has a separate name as Mount Ember. If, I want to think it's like Ember Path or something like that. Because if so, then we could potentially catch Moltres. I know we won't be able to get Articuno or Zapdos because I'm not going to be doing the... I'm not going to be using Repels specifically to get to them because it like breaks the entire purpose of a Nuzlocke. Um, but if we can get to Moltres without running into Pokemon, I may just use my Master Ball on it. Because that's if I could free level 50 Pokemon right there. And I don't care what it is, a level 50 Pokemon is probably going to be pretty useful. So, oh, darn, there's grass. Okay, you know what? We may be able to get through the grass. 
if I want it, I don't remember if the little cave has a different name to Mount Ember or not because whether or not we can catch it, Moltres kind of depends on that because there's no way that. Why do you do this to me? Wow, really? You use a full restore and a bell sprouse. That's cool. Why not? Okay. Anyways, just gonna say, it's okay to be gay. And if you are, no way. You made my day. I'm so happy. I just want to share. And if you don't like it, I really don't care. I'm gonna switch out now. I don't want to die. If you're gonna do it again, please ask me why. I don't know what you're asking. I just want to play Pokemon. This is the gloom, and now it will die. That is a poem by Hardy Tech Yo Yo. Copyright 2013. Any reuse of this will result in Hardy chopping off your pinky finger. Hardy doesn't like it when you use his poems. Seriously, stay away. Why does Gloom even have acid? I, acid's like right there with poison sting as and smog. I never realized this like until now, but poison has a lot of really bad moves. Like, is, does anybody else realize this? I mean, poison sting, acid, smog. I mean, yeah, a lot of them will poison you, which is a huge pain in the butt, but um, damage-wise, poison is not exactly effective. I mean, you have Sludge Wave, which is a good move. You No! No! I knew that was going to happen. Okay, whatever. I'll take a level 36 Pokemon. That's actually not bad. Um, by the way, I want to point out, I didn't even bother leveling up the... Heracross because it's like there's no point. I have three Heracrosses now. There's there's just no need for Heracross. This is why I another reason I don't want to do any more egg locks because I can't really use the duplicate rule because this it's not fair to the people who send in their eggs that I won't use theirs just because someone else sent in the same Pokemon. That's not really fair to them, is it? Okay, I only have six great balls. That's not good. Let's see. Can I get this? One, two, three, and yeah! Oh, okay. Wow, I wasn't actually expecting I'd get that on the first try. Happy face. No, I'm not going to nickname it. And let's get out of here. So, unlike the derpy little... Oh, wow, you have a lot of sight. I was going to say, unlike the derpy little Zapdos, who for some reason doesn't actually have an electric type move, I believe Moltres does have... Um, uh, Moltres does have fire spin. And it might have ember as well, actually. I don't remember... So, I will not be using... Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, I forgot your psychic type. Oh, actually, I knew it was a psychic type, because that's why I didn't use Brick Break. I'm just a moron. Good job, Hardy. Okay, let's not make that mistake again. Oh, luckily, apparently, Execute has a horrible special attack. So, wow. No, really? Yay, now two of our Pokemon are paralyzed. I'm so happy right now. I, I'm i not happy. If it's not clear, I'm really not happy. What? What? <laughs> what the heck, Nicastro? Are you serious, bro? I finally start using you and you miss fly two times in a row. There is a 2.5% chance of that happening. Like, serious face here, bro. How does that even happen? Okay, so we're getting our put our butts kicked just trying to get to Moltres, and this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. I want to point that out. I just kind of figured we'd walk up, be like, "Hey, Moltres, what's up?" And he'd be like, "Dude, what's up?" I'd be like, "Dude," and he'd be like, "Dude," I'd be like, "Dude," and we'd just be there like, "Dude," and then I'd kill him, and that would be nice. But yeah, no, that's obviously not how this is gonna be going down. Now I'm not gonna bother hipping it. Sipper, I don't think I'm going to be using Sipper anymore now that we're like almost at Moltres. I will probably use Nikestro to kill Zapdos. That's right, we can't catch him now. Unless Mount Ember. Actually, does Mount Ember have a different name? Is that Mount Ember Peak or is it just Mount Ember? I'm legitimately curious about this now. I don't remember. But yeah, okay, so the inside is still just called Mount Ember, but we haven't actually run into a Yep, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, we haven't run into a Pokemon yet, but let's just jinx ourselves by saying that. So now we run into like 17 Pokemon every step. Speaking of 17 Pokemon, that reminds me of X and Y, how you can end up like taking off five Pokemon at once now. That's, that's a little scary, if I say so myself. But I think the idea of the Sky Battle, I actually think that's really cool. So I'm looking forward to the Sky Battles. I'm 
not as much looking forward to having to take on five Houndors at once. Because one Houndor is scary as it is, and then you put like five fierce little fire pups, and you're just kind of asking to get destroyed. So we are now out of my umbers. This, uh, okay, wait, I think there's, yep, a different area here. Is this still Mount Ember or is it Mount Ember Peak? Oh, it's still Mount Ember. Ah, uh, okay, so yeah, we're not going to be able to catch Moltres. I thought it might have been Mount Ember Peak because it's, did, no, I didn't mess this up. I'm doing it right. I'm doing it right, Ma. Look, I got the I got the Moltres. Yay! Okay, so time to take on Moltres. I believe it is level 45 or level 50, and it's going down. I can't believe it took us 15 minutes to get here. Man, that seriously a long time. Wait, that bird. Level 50. Okay, so Nicastro, you might be a little underleveled, but Rock Slide is quite effective, and you're faster because it's a giant fire bird. Why would it outspeed a rock, a flying rock, much less? But yeah, okay, well that was that was the most anticlimactic battle I've ever seen. Good job, Nicestro. I don't really think that was worth the effort, but um, whatever. So, as I did warn you guys at the beginning, this is going to be a shorter video. I wasn't expecting it to take this long to take on Moltres, so next time we'll be going after Zapdos and then probably Articuno. I don't know, but either way, thank you guys for watching. How about 250 likes because it is a shorter episode. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Until then, I'm Marty Tokyo. Peace!